Hi folks, uh, my name is Rafael Tassinari Rezende from uh, Universidade Federal de Goiás, Brazil. I'd like to start this conversation uh, saying thanks to Yaroslav for the invitation. Uh, let's talk about environics, deciphering the G by E interaction in forestry genetics. I'd like to give credits for the, to this uh, free photo for the, from the internet. So, talking about the environment terms, we have a landscape with a lot of information, uh, biological or uh, not. And by envirotyping techniques, we can achieve some environmental information from this area. Uh, the, uh, a set uh, of environment markers we will have the environ and taking a single environment marker uh, we will have the envirotype polymorphisms uh, assisting the breeding and a single pixel we have an envirotype so we see this landscape taking it uh, into a geoprocess environment uh, we will have a, a latitude, longitude information and uh, every pixel in the area and if we implant a experimental or even commercial stand of course taking in account the genotype identification so uh, taking a, a single plot we can measure some uh, trait from these trees like geometer or height or volume or some disease information i don't know uh, when we talking about phenomics this is a, a, a large uh, high throughput uh, kind of uh, data collection, but here we're talking about uh, environmental uh, high throughput data collection. And we can collect this information by satellites or weather stations or uh, uh, not so commonly but uh, by drones, uh, collect information by temperature uh, rain or forest, forest, frost and uh, landscape elevation, altitudes, I don't know, there's uh, many kinds of environmental uh, covariables we can collect. Uh, some vari variables not uh, so uh, variable and another's most variables. Uh, but of course, uh, this is a single environment. We, when we talking about uh, G by E interactions, we have to account some a lot of experiments or trios or uh, different kind of uh, environmental information. So in this scenario, it is important to to tell you about the target population of environment. Uh, where in, I mean that is the, the, the places where the breeding are, are, are done or the places that uh, the population you use the breeding uh, products in a market scale uh, here we have uh, overlapped uh, many kinds of environmental uh, markers overlapped Uh, this figure depicts the type of data that every environmental uh, analysis will need. So we have pixels with data information, phenotype, genotype, environmental. And here a method of us uh, showing how to transform environmental uh, environmental variables in environment markers that can be used to, to this purpose. 
So here a uh, fast result uh, part A, B, C. So the first is the breeding zones, or also called as uh, macro environments. Uh, I mean, here is a, a area that uh, minimizes the G by E interaction defects. Uh, I mean, a single genotype planted here, you uh, will have a, a similar behavior here or here or here, and so for this zone and so for this zone. Uh, this is maybe the most important result for an environomics application, that is uh, the recommendation map, genotype recommendation, recommendation map, wherein these pixels, each one of these pixels have a, a genotype key hunk. So uh, if you are here, you can uh, take a, a GPS and read the, the latitudes and longitudes coordinates and know uh, what the genotypes is the best for your uh, condition or your farm and go on. Uh, a genotype that's be the best here could be not the best at the neighbor, but uh, be the best in the another region and go on. Here is a, a bonus uh, result that is a prediction trait, trait prediction for the, for the entire area. Here is an example like yield or, or volume. Uh, here is a, a practical result that is uh, we uh, studied eucalyptus clones using volume growth or wood increment across ages, and so taking an age, a early age, or a so so age. Uh, for example, here we can explore uh, charcoal or firewoods. So for these uh, uh, products, aiming these products, we uh, planting in exactly this configuration. Uh, see the, the colors at genotypes clones. And for pulp or cellulose purples, we can planting the genotypes uh, in this configuration. Uh, wherein these uh, areas are uh, geoprocessing areas uh, with uh, latitude, longitude, and etc. Uh, here is uh, uh, genetic parameters like irritabilities. Irritabilities or genetic correlation are not calculated to a single environment or a, a, a set of environments but for the entire area and this is very interesting because it could uh, provide us some results that we cannot imagine it to have because we will never tested in the uh, files where there is not uh, phenotypic information. Uh, this result is very interesting because we have not to be afraid on, or not worry about imbalancing uh, on genotypes. Uh, for example, here we have uh, the reduction of the number of experiments. And here we have the reduction or the uh, genotype balance. The reduction of experiments is very dangerous on the, the prediction or uh, uh, and the, the reduction of balancing I mean use the same number of uh, uh, of experiments or files but with the, the less number of genotypes the modeling uh, fix this problem like uh, uh, mixed models of Bayesian models uh, solve these problems easily. Uh, coming the finish of our presentation, we can conclude that environments 
is a omics. Uh, I mean, uh, not one, two, or fifty experiments are the the target, but all the area. Uh, we always must try to use all uh, uh, environmental information, or climatic, or landscape, or even uh, management practice. For example, escape of some diseases or uh, planting spaces in the rows or in the rows uh, in the, the stands and go on. Uh, we can use all data types like, for example, uh, molecular markers to, to address the, the uh, relationships between genotypes. Uh, Environics is something like about a uh, precision forest, wherein, uh, wherein the, the genotype is the management treatments, and uh, we can easily uh, calculate genetic parameters for uh, the entire area in the, in the, into a Environics quantitative genetics framework. Uh, well, uh, I'd like to again to thank you very much and I apologize for my non-native English. So uh, here is my contact, my email address. Uh, thank you very much.